Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. I was uh, sitting around the other night, and I was remembering when I was a novice years and years ago, and I had the opportunity to visit an older ham in his shack and see a bunch of stuff that I hadn't seen before, like uh, Riddy with a real teletype and a slow scan TV using a long persistence phosphor display. Fascinating stuff. One thing that I noticed in the corner of his shack was a board with a couple of light bulbs mounted on it. And I asked him about it, and he said, oh, that's my dummy load. And I thought, light bulbs as a dummy load? Can you do that? Really? It stuck in the back of my mind for a while, and then I guess I forgot it. But I remembered it last night. I thought, I thought about that again. Light bulbs as a dummy load. There'd be some problems. Um, the electrical characteristics of a light bulb changes as it heats up. Did you know that? Tungsten filaments don't burn out in the vacuum of a light bulb, not just because there's no oxygen there. They also don't burn out because as voltage and current rises and, and a wire heats up, uh, it becomes more resistive. You might remember that uh, superconductors uh, work when they get down to absolute zero or close to absolute zero and get really cold. Things become more conductive the colder they are. And the reason for that is atoms inside an object are vibrating. That's heat. And the hotter they are, the harder they vibrate. And the harder they vibrate, the farther apart they move. And so when something is hot and atoms are moving farther apart, there's more of a gap and less uh, of an option for valence electrons to jump atom to atom. So in a, in a filament, in a light bulb, as it heats up and those atoms vibrate more, they move farther apart, the resistance goes up. So the electrical characteristics of a light bulb change as it heats up. That would make it difficult to use as a dummy load because if you match the bulbs to 50 ohms, as soon as you put power into them and they heat up, their impedance is going to go up. Uh, there might also be some inductance from the you know, helical filament. Who knows? Anyway, so I was thinking about the light bulbs as dummy loads, and then I had an idea. Could you actually be heard on a light bulb? Could you transmit a signal? Would it emit enough that you could be copied somewhere else? Hmm, let's try that out. Let's go to the bench. <coughs> So here's the test ongoing. Sorry about the handy cam and the poor audio, but this is really just a quick silly experiment. So I've got a 60 watt light bulb and I've got the radio over there broadcasting whisper as it's about to go into transmit. There we go. You can see it lights the bulb up real nice. Coaxial cable comes down, comes across, goes into my uh, tuner which is in bypass mode. I'm using the tuner and the radio. We got the Kenwood presently broadcasting Whisper, and uh, it's putting out uh, 60 watts, 50 watts, 50 watts. Using Whisper mode software in the middle of a transmission. Uh, it's done about four transmissions. I'm receiving stations on the uh, light bulb. <laughs> I'm receiving stations as far as uh, 
1,500, uh, almost 1,600 kilometers away, VE6 RMB picked him up at negative 21 dB. So the light bulb, although it does make an uh, interesting dummy load, <laughs> does not emit very well. In fact, let me grab my field strength meter. This is a very sensitive meter. When I was uh, testing the Miracle Whip, I was across the room and it was picking up almost full scale. And I can get right up here next to the light bulb with the uh, pickup wire and I can get some deflection. But as I back away, you can see that drops right off. And if I put it down next to the coax, we get a little deflection. But that is really not putting out that much power. I mean, I am right up next to the light bulb before I get full scale, and when I get four inches away, it's dropping right off. I get a foot away, we got almost nothing. I get two feet away, and the meter's hardly tickling. So it's really not putting out much power. Uh, when I had this meter and I was across the room 20 feet away from the Miracle Whip, and the uh, Yezu was putting out a half a watt, it was full scale. So it's a pretty sensitive uh, meter. So we've just uh, done another Whisper broadcast. Let's switch over to Whisper Spots and see if we were heard anywhere. And no, we were not. So the light bulb, oh, we were heard somewhere. Holy cow! Right down next to Montgomery, Alabama. I was wrong. AI4RY heard me negative 23 dB so well. How about that? You can transmit on a light bulb and be heard. Well, there you go. It kind of works. Not very well, <laughs> but it kind of worked. Uh, so you could use a light bulb as a dummy load, I suppose. They used to in the old AM days. Not a good idea now. But I was very, very surprised that that station down in Alabama heard my whisper broadcast off this light bulb sitting here in my uh, dining room. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure and this silly little experiment. 73, have a good day. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. Thanks for watching.